Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and I'm going to show you how to get started overblowing on harmonica. <laughs> Okay, so for this lesson, you will need a harmonica in the key of B flat. The reason being that B flat is one of the easiest keys to get started playing overblows on. Okay, so before we look at how to play overblows, I need to make sure that you're ready to start playing overblows. Because I think a lot of people start trying to do them before they've mastered some other techniques. So you need to be able to draw bend holes one through to six and blow bend holds seven to 10. If you can't do that yet, overblowing is going to be incredibly hard, if not impossible. So if you can't do that, go back to learning to do your draw bends and your blow bends. Okay, next thing, you need to have a relatively decent harmonica. Now this doesn't mean rushing out and buying a custom harmonica, far from it. All I wanna make sure is that you're not trying to overblow on a toy harmonica. So playing a, a relatively good harmonica, a Hona Marine Band, a Special 20, a Suzuki uh, Pro Master, anything like that, Manji, Olive, that's great. But if you picked up a harmonica for $5, it's probably going to be quite leaky and difficult to overblow on. So air tightness is important. One little caveat, Lee Oscars, good harmonicas, but they are notoriously difficult to overblow on. Uh, I've tried to do it in the past. But, you know, when I first started learning to overblow, I was playing the Oscars. I couldn't do it. I found it really, really hard, and, and I'm not the only person who's had that issue. So be aware of that. Okay, final, final thought before we start looking at how to do an overblow. Make sure that you don't take the word overblow and think that you need to play harder. It's a really bad name for the technique because you actually need to play very softly and gently. And it's all about maintaining the correct pressure and not doing it too hard. Okay, so let's move on to looking at what overblows are. So an overblow, it happens on the holes where you could normally do a draw bend and you're going to be blowing to change the pitch of the note like this. So I'm playing the sixth blow and then I'm overblowing it. Now, what's going on during an overblow? Well, what's happening is I am muting the blow reed, and once the blow reed has been muted, I'm pulling the draw reed up, and that's what's resonating to get that note. And as against a bend, which brings the pitch of the note down, the overblow brings the pitch of the note up. So if we hear the six blow to the six overblow again, you'll hear that the pitch goes up. Okay, so that's what an overblow is, and that's kind of what's going on. So I'm gonna try, try and give you a, a, a few ideas for how you can get your first overblow. You might not get it first time. Most people don't. Uh, so persevere, and there are a couple of different ideas for you to try. So the first idea is to start by playing an eight blow bend. So. And then you're gonna move that shape down, that mouth shape down to the six hole. And you're gonna maintain that mouth shape, play the six blow, and try saying he as you're playing it. So that gives you the right kind of cavity shape to get that six overblow. Now if that doesn't happen, don't worry, it didn't happen like that for me, but uh, it happens for some people like that. So it's worth trying it, but if it doesn't, don't worry. The next approach that you can use is bending the six draw first. So you're gonna bend the six draw down, and then you're going to hold that mouth shape and push and say he again. Okay, if that doesn't work, also it doesn't matter. You might get something like, kind of a horrible sort of feedback kind of sound. That's great, that means you're in the right kind of ballpark. So this takes me to how I learned to overblow, which is actually sort of separating both elements of the, of the overblow, the blow read and the draw read, 
and doing them separately until I could really get them solid and then bringing them back together. So how I do that, we take the harmonica apart. So let me show you how to take the harmonica apart. So you'll see that you know I'm just I'm just unscrewing the cover plate uh, and and putting it to one side. And we've got to look that the blow reeds are on the top and the draw reeds are on the bottom. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to isolate the blow reed. So the way that we do that is we mute the draw reed. So we count up underneath the harmonica, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you put your thumb over the sixth draw reed so that you can't hear it when you play a draw. Now you're gonna play a six blow and you're gonna bend it down until it mutes. So this is the same technique as blow bending. And really try and do it with the minimum amount of airflow and just persevere. Keep doing it until you can do it without thinking about it. And then we'll look at the other side of the overblow. So you're going to just act on the draw read. So to do this, you're gonna mute the blow read. So you're gonna count up on the top plate, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then with your index finger, you're going to cover the six blow read and you're gonna try and do the same mouth position that you just did and say he on the draw read. So a lot of people get to this stage and they start huffing and puffing and playing really, really hard. Um, please don't do that. It's not gonna do anything to help you get the overblow. I really, really promise you that it's all about being gentle. And, you know, persevere with this. Try and remember how difficult it was to start bending consistently. And it's going to be exactly the same for overblows. So spend a bit of time isolating blow read and draw read. And, you know, it will start to come together. Now, a lot of you probably already know that you can tweak your reads to help getting the overblows. And I am going to do a lesson on that. But I'm not talking about it today because I really want you to spend a little bit of time seeing how far you can get before we do any tweaks to your harmonicas. And I'm actually gonna do a lesson very soon on tweaking the reeds for overblows. Uh, so watch out for that. Brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. Um, now you can do something for me. You can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I put out a new lesson every single Wednesday. And if you want to get a kind of checklist of all the things you need to think about for overblowing, just click on the link in the description below to go to my website where you can download a PDF of that uh, and it'll just kind of help you work through everything that you need to think about during an overblow. Brilliant. See you next week. Thank you very much.